Alrighty. Uh, so yeah, we just have to head to the tunnels now uh, in order to make something here happen. So let's go, I guess. Uh, we'll explore in the dark at first, and then if we get a better idea of where we need to go, we can turn on the lights and kind of beeline it. Uh, but we need to go to mission storage, actually. That's what we need to do. I won't forget this time. Raph asked during the break, American Volume 1 or Original Volume 1? Whatever is the one with Black Sad's face on the cover. Uh, we were talking about Black Sad, um, because we're going to be playing that game tomorrow for the live viewers. Uh, here with Keith, and the game takes place... Um, oh, that's Lambert's. Oops, I meant Travers. Uh, that game takes place in between those two volumes. There we go. Alrighty. Just got a bunch of grenades. But yeah, it, the, the volume about the woman he was like a bodyguard for that he was like vaguely uh, involved in or something. Involved with, I don't remember. But yes, that's the, the omnibus, the first omnibus. I'm still deciding if we're going to play Black Sad with uh, the Spanish dub or the English dub, just because I believe the Spanish dub was actually first, but we'll have to see. Uh, I want to take some stuff out, but... Alrighty. So yeah, it just had grenades in it, but not terrible. To the tunnels, I suppose. This area, I feel like, is going to be harrowing. <laughs> Yikes. Confused. Why can't we? Uh oh. There aren't any lights in here anyway, so having the generator on wouldn't do anything. Alright. I feel like we're in Nutty Putty Cave. Yikes. And the whole lighting changed. Oh, there are lights back here, but they don't seem to be affected by the generator, because the generator's not on. Intriguing. It's a new save point. Eyeballs, a photo. Okay, well I wasn't expecting the game to give us a whole new save point we need to work with. I don't like that basically at all because that means that the game is gonna be really long. <laughs> oh dear. Is there anything good back here? Doesn't really look like it. Interesting. Spooky Roman tunnels back here. We'll read all the notes we got in just a second. What is that? 
I don't know what I'm looking at there. This is going to be interesting. I wonder if this level is going to just be a completely different game, basically. <laughs> Alright, we got to put some shit down. There we go. Put those down, because I don't need them right now. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need these wire cutters or a wrench. Oh, I can't put those down. Um, okay, I can't put that down either. Oops, I loaded too many really important items into my inventory. Okay, um, neato. Okay, and so we have this one now, too. Or is this where I just went? Oh, this is where I just went. Okay, I thought there was another doorway back th there or something that I missed. I guess not. Yeah, just getting a little directionally confused here. All right, let's uh, move forward into the creepy Roman tunnels that birthed the demon god. These rocks don't look right. That doesn't look right at all. It looks like we're in the void from Dishonored. Or Sherlock. We're in the dreamland from Sherlock. This is the secret Sherlock the Awakened crossover game. Really not sure how... Okay, so like these tunnels are right here. They are not deep into the mines. Huh? So gets lost, lost in the terrible twelve. All right, Mikolash, cool it. Uh, so before we go down here, we'll read the notes. But one of the things I wanted to say is like all of the notes and things that we've found were like, hey, the Roman tunnels seem kind of weird, but who can say? This does not seem weird. This is just objectively strange. The moment you walk into the Roman tunnels, things get otherworldly. There is no suspension of disbelief. You walk in here, you see these floating dreamlands rocks. No, guys, this is not, this is not like, oh, you're just being silly. No, this is straight up Cthulhu. What are you doing? All right. Uh, Tissant's Madness. Had to see what the dark held. Had to. Noye, Farber, all of them. They don't have the right kind of eyes. Grant us eyes. Grant us eyes. Uh, <laughs> my eyes are right for it. Never mind that they trap me down here. I have seen. Ha! A vision. A vision of a gone world. Bloody and terrible. Beautiful and awful. Godly and infernal. All around me voices. The past. Clawing. Spinning. Whirling. I don't know what they want. I don't know what they want. Have to stop it. Can't see it anymore. It tasks me with what I do not know. Please, God above, if you ever were there, end this. Give me some way to end this. I see it now. Ha! I see it now. See it now. See not. See it now. See it not. Whirling and whirling and whirling. It calls for blood. Comment on Noyer's report from Joubert to Renard. Our mad classicist is struck again. Noye has filed a report claiming that the Romans use these tunnels to hold sadistic bacchanals, uh, great festivals of cruel combat, torture, and worse. Further, he says that these were all held in an arena over a great pit. Any who fell into it fell into screaming darkness. His words. What a poet. I've been in the tunnels. They are tunnels full stop. Recommend surveillance on Noye. How? How do you think these are just tunnels, Joubert? Do you not see the creepy Cthulhu rocks? What are you talking about? There are there are so many things that are not tunnels in these tunnels. See the sun fall or the black smoke. See the dirt fall or the dead folk. Can't see the ocean. Can't see the trees.
You're not on your knees, big boy. Oh, I see him. He's walking around. We will the world. The world we world. It all gets lost. Lost in the blinding twirl. The sky in the dark. <gasps> How is there someone there again? Shot at the visions in the tunnels. Okay. So these are just visions? He's got a shotgun. That's scary. Who is this supposed to be? Got him. Thanks, bud. <laughs> All right, so we have a shotgun. I wasted a lot of resources there, but it's fine. We had plenty of resources. What do I use this for? Do I really just break through this with the shotgun shells? How many bullets did I waste? Did I just, I just wasted two. Well, that sucks, but I guess we did get him. I don't need to waste the shotgun bullet because I got this. Big old brick we can throw, which we know from the tutorial, is a meaningful item. Right, brick is still alive. Which is a weird thing to say, but it is technically still good. I can still use it. Wait, what was this? Where did this lead? This is just the place where I was. Okay. So then what is this? Just... An entirely different area meant to just kind of confuse me but it seems like cool that we can like wander around here and not be threatened though it's nice to be somewhere where the monster isn't alrighty Useless gun. Uh, shoot. Well, there we go.
another brick in case we need it. Huh. What is this place? I mean, like, I understand where I am. That's what's his name's body. But, uh, I meant more specifically, like, what is the layout here? That's kind of goofy. Let's go break down that other door. Ooh, a bandage. Guta Kavat Lapidem. What does that mean? Inventory. Nice. I'm not gonna grab that other thing yet. We want to prepare our escape route. Because I guarantee you that monster's gonna show up the second we grab some of this stuff. one bullet that's very good all right uh, and then th this is just the door we were in so great I can't carry more I items in my inventory god damn it uh, okay I can't use that because I have plenty of healing what what is the least valuable thing I guess this fuel bottle It doesn't give us any long-term benefit. Hmm. Oh, we're here. Interesting. This is where what's his face uh, was. Lambert. This is where we found Lambert. How he... How did he get into this crater? He must have gone into the tunnels first. So he lied to us about how he got down here. Didn't he say there was, like, a bunny around here? Yeah. Look at that. Can't carry any more items. A Lambert 0312. How are we supposed to get out of here? I thought this was our way out. Whoa, those floating particles turn into big white squares in the menu. Yeah, and when you're at low health, they turn into, uh, into this. Stuffed rabbit toy might have sentimental value to someone can be thrown. Are they gonna gas coin me? Do I have to use this on the the beast? <laughs> okay, interesting. So we didn't notice the, the floaty rocks the first time we were here, I don't think. So can people just not see them? I mean, we know that guy was talking about eyes. I just have to find where we need to go. Is it this way? <laughs> Wait, are we doing puzzles now to to climb up stuff? Look at that. <laughs> Intriguing. <laughs> Let's 
So we drag this over here. And then we drag the small one. Man, my inventory is seriously too full. Neat. You know, honestly, I think climbing out of that little, like, thing up out of the trench is actually a much more doable thing than it like might have seemed at first glance like you have time now you're not in danger they don't the germans don't know about that hole so just like slowly like dig uh, hand holds into the wall and climb out you're golden no need to worry about the beast at all okay uh we have a shotgun that's cool Grenades, that's cool. Did this fill up more? Eh, we're basically free now. Look, Ma, no hands. Blender says, an artillery shell could fall uh, in that hole during a barrage, and as soon as your head pops up above the ground, a sniper will probably take it off. Sure, but also, who would be looking for anyone climbing out of a hole they don't know is there? You know what I mean? Like, just stay low to the ground. right there <laughs> Oops. mana says i'm pretty sure they shoot anything that moves i am also pretty sure they shoot anything that moves but uh at the same time how would they know oh no the game crashed interesting <laughs> uh well give it just a moment while it reloads we literally just saved so Are we getting sound? Is sound coming through? Nope. Give it a moment. I have to... I have to get this to work. There we go. We getting sound now? Looks like it. <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. Let's move forward. All right, so now as we leave that, the monster is coming down the tunnel. So maybe our goal is going to be just luring it out with something and then immediately running past it. It's not like this particular spot right here is that scary to be in. I guess I can always throw a gas grenade at it. Splinter says, a lot of people were paying attention uh, because tunnels were an integral part of infiltration and assault tactics. Uh, small groups would tunnel under no man's land and pop up near enemy trenches at night. Yeah, I mean, I figured that's the case, but what I'm saying is, like, 
if you just if he just keeps his head down if he's low to the ground who's gonna see him because like remember he walked to that trench beforehand as well and it wasn't until like afterward when he was like sprinting out and standing fully upright with another person on his shoulders that the Germans found him and they found him on patrol so like he could probably get out that's all I'm saying <laughs> What? <laughs> the monster wasn't stopped by this chlorine gas that normally stops the monster? That's bullshit. Okay. I think we're going to be pretty close to what is effectively the ending here. I'm going to go fill the generator one last time, turn on the power. I should save. There we go. Oh, that's full. Neat. I want to have Molotovs ready just in case. put that away figure my bolt cutters aren't necessary anymore put that in there because we got we have plenty of just stuff all right uh do we want a flare grenade I guess so. Why not, right? I could take another med kit or another flare grenade. I probably don't need the lighter above ground. All right. Let's get out of here, I guess. Go get Lambert's thingy. I want the last darn note. We never found D Bardin or A Fortans. Uh, A Fortan. Oh, I guess we did. 9618. What is Bard Bardin's? Did we find it? We did not. Shotgun shells and a note. Lambert's July Journal, Part 16th. Two. Up again. In the chapel. Trying to pray, but my mind is too alive with thoughts of the cradle. The rabbit. That water. Its taste. And yet I don't feel tired. Instead, I feel this itch. I sense that there are things I must. 
must do. Purpose. A bloody purpose higher than any of man's petty wars. 13th July 1916. Morning. Everyone's talking about hearing scratching at the walls. Tremblay even claims to have heard howls echoing through the barracks. I feel strange myself. I can barely find the words to write. My hands feel so odd. Gnarled. Bulbous. Like they don't belong to me. I hesitate to write this, but a thought keeps echoing in my head. A thought I must not act on. A bloody thought so seductive. It calls. It calls. It calls. 15th July 1916. Madness in the barracks this morning. Renard's dead. They say murder, but will not show us the body. A dream rises in my mind. Countless cruel eyes upon me. Must check on Henri. Wish he would wake. Could use a friend. My prayers remain unanswered. 18th July 1916. Blood on my hands. Blood on my hands. Blood on my hands. Their pain. I want more of it. I can hear Tremblay now. Coming closer. Closer. Oh, oops. I thought it was going to uh, <laughs> move forward. I thought there was more to it than that. Okay, so yeah, Lambert is definitely the creature. Uh, which is kind of interesting. We kind of knew. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, let's see. says his boyfriend ends up in a coma and he becomes a monster. Talk about overreacting. <gasps> okay. So this just knocked me deeper into the caves? Huh? I'm taking this out in case I need to... Oh God, no! In case I need to throw the the doll at him or something. <sighs> My guess is it's gonna Gascoin him because it has like the same uh, item description as the Gascoin fight. Ooh, what in the world? You know, I was gonna say this is like Nazi occultism tunnels, but maybe not. Oh. Oh, this is the this is a pit. Um let's see how this works. That didn't work. Oops, did I kill myself? 
Ooh, I got an achievement. I don't want to die in the pit. Is this going to glitch out? Oop, it looks like I glitched out. Okay. <laughs> Oops. All right, um, <laughs> let's try that again. So I got an achievement for dropping the, the monster in the pit. Maybe we can kill it that way. That would be sick. If I, if I managed to get through that without, you know, dying in the pit myself, that would be cool. It was kind of funny. I think I clipped out of bounds. <laughs> Let's just try to take it out immediately, I guess. There it is. Everything is collapsing. Oh boy. Oh no, 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 no. We will get out of here. Thank you. <laughs> that was kind of anticlimactic. fall dude it was like not even <laughs> not even a cliff you were standing just fine <laughs> Ugh, soggy corpse water well anyway <laughs> Oh no, the Germans. Oh, okay, we finished the game. I just got an achievement for it. <laughs> cool. All right, hey, we, uh, we finished Amnesia. Productive stream, y'all, we did a good job. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to happen the way it did. I figured we would have a little bit more after that because of how anticlimactic that final fight was. The the bunny didn't really seem to stop it. I was pretty sure it was going to gas coin him here, but I guess it didn't really. I mean, I got an achievement for showing the beast the bunny, but like he didn't really seem to stop. Like I was worried that that grenade wasn't going to go off in time. So that's kind of interesting. I was just looking it up. Apparently there are different endings to the game. Neat. Yeah, uh, so there is an ending. There's an ending where you uh, just delay, like you just get out and you don't try to kill the monster and then it nebulously lives and then I guess there's one where if you just like die which I guess probably is what I would have gotten the first time if it didn't seem like it was glitching out
Huh. Well, yeah. Uh, what did I what did I think about Amnesia the Bunker? Um, it was pretty good. Uh, pretty short. Pretty easy. Pretty chill. Uh, there was never any real point where I was like super completely lost. Uh, outside of like right at the beginning when I thought, okay, we just go to the arsenal, but then clearly the arsenal is the end game. So I got a little bit confused um, there, but then it, it just became a simple process of like, go everywhere else until you can go to the arsenal, which, you know, just like Resident Evil uh, mansion design, basically. Um, yeah, that was cool. Uh, definitely enjoyed this. Uh, it was a nice little game that didn't overstay its welcome. We finished this in three stream sessions, and I think it's like just about 10 episodes probably. That sounds about right. Um, yeah, I dug this. I thought this was fun. Um, I mean, I guess I can try to, let's try to just quickly grab like the rest of the endings or something. I wonder, let's try to see what happens if I die. Oh, difficulty mode hard, six hours, longest time between saves, 26 minutes. 194 times saved. That's probably just because I double clicked. Every time, a rat scared by torch, stalker, bullet hit count. Oh, because I shot it once. Traps triggered 26, blackouts 2, generator refills 13, flares thrown. I didn't really use the floor flares. I, I couldn't really find a purpose for them. Congratulations on your first playthrough of Amnesia the Bunker. Remember, no playthrough of the bunker is the same as any other. Items, traps, codes, and more are all random. Oh, okay. So the codes are random. Interesting. Is this going to start the game over, or am I going to load back at where I was? If, I, if it starts over, which it very well might, then we just won't. <laughs> I'm not going to go back in. I just wanted to see if it would... Uh, if it would let us just reload and get like other endings and stuff. So let's quit to title real quick. So yeah, that was a cool game. Uh, if you're interested, you can buy it on Steam and all the other places. Um, but overall, uh, I think, I think this was worth playing. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. I will catch you all later. Bye now.